Marlin. Famous quick relief for acid indigestion presents the Marlin Hurts and Buless Show. <laughs> Carol Stewart, the music of Albert Sack and his orchestra, and starring Marlon Hurt and... Got the world in a jet law, got the stopper in my hand. <laughs> How silly we see. Yes, sir, it's Beulah! <laughs> Every week at this time, the makers of Tums present the Marlon Hurt and Beulah Show, written by Phil Leslie. You know, friends, there's a time and place for everything. But with acid indigestion, you never know when or where it may strike. That's why it's best, night and day, at home or away, to always carry Tums. Then, at the first sign of acid indigestion, you just slip one or two Tums in your mouth, the same as you would candy mint. Nothing to mix or stir. You don't even need water. Almost instantly, Tums neutralize the excess acid, soothe the heartburn, and bring priceless peace and calm to acid upset. No soda in Tums to overalkalize. No acid rebound. So, tonight, get Tums yourself and try them out. Only ten cents a roll, all drugstores. Ask for Tums. T-U-M-S. Tums for the tub. <laughs> Housekeeper at the Marlin Hurt home is a little bit excited at the moment, and I'll bet you'd be if you'd been coming home from the grocery store and you found a beautiful gold wedding ring lying in the street. I'll bet you'd be excited, too. Anyhow, here she is now, bursting to tell someone about it as we look in on Marlin Hurt and Beulah. A gold wedding ring right here in the street, laying right there. Mr. Marlin, Mr. Marlin, you know what, Mr. Marlin? Now, Beulah, take it easy, take it easy. Don't get so excited. Yes, but Mr. Marlin, you know what? Now, look, Beulah, relax. I go out and come in again. Yes, sir. Oh, Marlon, that's ridiculous. Well, she's got to learn to control herself, Aunt Alice. This will be good for her. She'll cool off now, and then she'll... Miss Marlon, may I speak with you, sir? <laughs> yes, Beulah. Now, you see what I mean? Yes, go ahead, Beulah. Well, when you hear what happened, I was down to the grocery store. And... <laughs> I was coming home, and I looked in the street, and you know what I saw laying in the gutter? Nobody we know, I hope. No, ma'am, I found me this pretty little gold wedding ring. Look. Wedding ring? Say, this is a pretty ring. Somebody be looking for that. I know gals have been looking for them for a long time. <laughs> Not to mention any names, but there's one gal that starts with a few. We don't talk about that. Well, is there any identification in the ring, Beulah? I don't see none of that stuff, ma'am. It's got the man's name in it, though. It's got that. <laughs> yeah, it's got his name and his apartment number. Oh, well, that's just as good. See here, ma'am, it says, Warren Ted, 24K. That's what it says. <laughs> oh, no, Bill. That says warranted 24 carats. That means it's gold. 24 what, sir? Carats. That's what they measure gold with, carats. Oh, <laughs> look at you. I know you, Mr. Martin. You're trying for a joke. All right, have a <laughs> It shows a pretty little ring, though. Look like the one my sister got for her wedding, only different. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, your sister just got married, didn't she? Just got married, ain't that enough? <laughs> ain't nothing like a wedding ring to put some hope in a hope chest. <laughs> and you stood up for her, didn't you, Beulah? I still did. With that dress I had on, I was afraid to sit down. <laughs> Bill, 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 that's my boyfriend. Bill, he said that dress fit me like the skin on a drum. <laughs> Was Bill the wedding, too? Yes, sir. I think it ain't gonna do, cause no harm to have him watching the wedding now and then. See how other folks do this, you know. <laughs> you still thinking of marrying that boy, Beulah? Well, we have talked about it, ma'am. Pro and con. <laughs> well, an amateur, I'm strictly a pro. <laughs> but that Bill is a great con, man. Yes, you can say that again. All right, for an amateur, I'm strictly a pro, but that Bill... Never mind, I didn't mean Oh, <laughs> uh, excuse me. Like I say, though, we have conversed about the subject. We've talked about it. You discussed it? I certainly am. <laughs> you see, to that boy, walking down the middle aisle means going to a movie. And the only time he say I do is when I ask him, do he want some more pie? <laughs> yeah, well, look, Bill, 
I take good care of that wedding ring, Father. You, that's an expensive ring. Yes, and watch the newspapers. They'll probably advertise for it. No, I'll take good care of it. I'm just... Well, what'd I do with the ring? I had it here. Oh, yes, yes. I was about to change from the lost and found to the found and lost. Yes. Well, I'll put it away somewhere. Yes, I, I better get out to my kitchen now. I'm fixing to do some canning today. Oh, again, Beulah? I thought you just did some canning last week. Well, this time I'm putting up peaches. The oh. man ever yet here with him. That Mr. Frank is bringing. You know the man we get the eggs from? I hope they're as good as his eggs. They gotta be that good to get past the boat of hell. <laughs> I hope he gets there soon. That's what I hope. Take all day to peel him. Them last peaches he brought had 5 o'clock shadow at 10 a.m. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of trouble, Beulah. Oh, I don't mind. Beulah gonna keep us eating this winter, Mr. Marlin. Watch them lazy grasshopper folks is jumping around them empty store shelves. Beulah, the little ant, is gonna feed us out of the pantry. <laughs> oh, that's right. Uh, you know, they tell me at the market, Marlin, that there's less canned goods right now than at any time since the war started. Well, that's what I mean. When I say we're going to eat what we can, I mean if we don't can, we don't eat. <laughs> well, I'll start washing the jars, Beulah. Uh, did you bring them up out of the cellar? She has them days in the kitchen. I got all a hundred of them quart fruit jars, Mr. Marlin. Mason, Beulah? No, I ain't, sir, but Bill's boss is. He belongs out there. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't mean that. I mean the fruit jars. I'll get it. Well, Miss Carol. Hi, Miss Beulah. Hello, Marlin. Oh, hi, Carol. Come in, honey. Well, I can't stay a minute. I was just passing it. Wait a minute, Marlon. Hold still a minute. Huh? Turn your profile to me like it was. That's it. What's the matter? Well, that's amazing. Yes, sir. George Raft. Huh? <laughs> Who, me? I look like George Raft? Exactly like him, Marlon. Now, now, turn your head a little. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I look like... Hmm, George Raft, eh? <laughs> of course, I always did like to flip a half dollar. Let's see if I... <laughs> Bill, you got a half dollar? Please leave us not indulgent whimsy, sir. <laughs> Look at his profile, Beulah. Isn't he just the image of him? Well, um, the light's kind of bad in here. <laughs> so he got a profile, though. He got that all right. <laughs> oh, I don't see the resemblance, Carrie. George is, well, I'm a little husky of Bill, of course, but, uh, Beulah, you ought to dust this mirror. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a clock. Oh, Miss Carol, i got something to show you. Where to I put that little ring? Oh, yeah, there's it. Isn't it pretty? A wedding ring? Why, Beulah, how wonderful. Aren't you lucky? Yes. When did this happen? This morning, downtown. <laughs> <laughs> this morning? Well, for heaven's sake, what are you doing here now? I'm just thinking to can some peaches. What? Carol, maybe Raft and I do look a little alike, but I should... Oh, Beulah, you. you're silly working on a day like this. Where's Bill? He's at the plant, Miss Carol. He don't know nothing about it yet. He doesn't know <laughs> He doesn't know about it? Oh, Beulah, don't tell me you gave Bill the brush after all these years. Oh, no, man. We've got a date to go dancing tonight. I don't see no reason to brush him off now. He's just getting interesting. <laughs> what? Why, Beulah? Carol, you know, there is a certain resemblance. Now, wait, I... Marlon. Beulah, you don't expect to keep going with Bill now that you're married. Well, I didn't think... Married? Married? Who's married? Carol, you're not married. No, sir, I am. I mean, no, not me. Oh, my Beulah, what, what, what is this? Oh, say, speaking of marriage, Bill, let's show Miss Carol the wedding ring you found downtown. Oh, you found? A pretty little gold band, Carol. You know, one of those circles that girls are always going around in. Oh, let's just circle it together. <laughs> Do you hear what he said? Yes, sir, that's him. That's my boss. <laughs>
I wish that man would get here with them peaches. These little old empty jaws are just itching to get scratched with a peach pit. Oh, he'll be along, Beulah. You know he's always late. I'm going to buy that man a watch one of these days. Wouldn't help none, ma'am. I give him a calendar one time, but he's only up to last month on it. <laughs> hey, Beulah, I think this is the ad for that ring. Listen. Lost, gold wedding ring, vicinity of Fourth and Spruce. That's where I found it, right around there. Small scratches on inside. I ain't sure about that. Scratches on the inside. And it says fifty dollars reward. That does it. <laughs> if it ain't scratch, it will be. <laughs> That's the man. That's the one I want to give it to. What do you know about that? Oh, you are a lucky Beulah. Mr. Marsley, will you please call the man up? Fifty dollars. Tell him to bring it right over here. This little ring is ready. My goodness, you get here quick, didn't you? <laughs> Where's that ring? I had it right here. Oh. Oh, oh here it is. Stay with me, little ring. Stay That's the man with the peaches, Marlon. Let him in. Well, here's your features, uh, folks. Uh, howdy. I mean, uh, uh, howdy, uh, folks. Here's your features. We're ready for them, Mr. Uh... Uh, 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 Frank. Uh, 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 Frank? Frank. Yeah, is he on the box there? Uh, Frank? Oh, Frank. Uh, Frank? Uh, Frank? Uh, Frank? Sure is a wet name, ain't it? Hey, these look mighty nice, Mr. Frank. Free stones, are they? Well, uh, uh, stones are free. Uh, the pieces cost money. <laughs> That's just a little joke of mine. Yes, that's about as little a joke as I ever heard. <laughs> this isn't all you brought. Oh, no, no. Uh, uh, six more boxes on the back of the porch. <laughs> hey, you girls got some peeling to do. These baby, babies have got more fuzz than a sophomore's chin. Sophomore's chin can't even say it either. <laughs> Yes, I wish we could can that for succotash this winter. Uh, you know, I, I like to not. I almost didn't get it all today. Um, I went to a meeting of the Eggmen Association, uh, big business. Well, good. How is the egg business, by the way? Oh, mighty good, mighty good. Yes, sir. Uh, got my hands on an eight-hour shift now. And some of them give me a, 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 a three eggs a day that way. <laughs> well, that, that's some laying. That's some lying. Yeah. <laughs> Had a big honor today, though, at the meeting. They elected, uh, they, uh, they, they made, made, made me head of the Eggman's Association. Is that so? Yep, yep. Egghead of Frink, they call me now. <laughs> I'm sure you'll live up to it, Mr. Frink. Well, if you'll just tell us how much we owe you, I'll get you the money. Well, uh, let me see now. Uh, seven boxes, uh, uh, two bucks a box, or I mean, uh, two bucks a box. Uh, that's uh, four, uh, two bucks a box, uh, four, uh, four, uh, uh, oh, make it ten dollars. <laughs> well, that seems fair enough. Here you are. Uh, I say, uh, you don't need any eggs, do you? I got some out in the car, I mean, out in the truck there. Mm, yes, yes, we could use some, uh, if they're today's eggs. Oh, sure, sure. Um, uh, they're nice and, uh, they're nice and, uh, uh, oh, you wouldn't want me, they're stale. Go on. <laughs> well, he's a happy fellow, isn't he? Nice speaking voice, too. <laughs> well, I'll go call up about your rain, Beulah. This is sure to be the guy, though. Are you lucky? Now, I'll be back in a minute, Beulah. You go ahead and start on the pizza. Yeah. My goodness, look on that back porch. Don't taste mighty good this winter, though. That little old Mr. Shakespeare, he must have been thinking of us when he say that line, what food these mosses be. <laughs> Hello, Beulah. Oh, come here, Mr. Niles. How are you? Oh, I'm fine. Hey, you look like you got a job there. Well, it ain't exactly no picnic, sir, but I, I don't mind. Say, uh, speaking of picnics, this is picnic weather, Beulah. Have you been on one yet? No, sir, but me and Bill, you know my boss and Bill. Sure. We're going on one next Sunday. I expect the first jar of the peaches I'm about to put up today will be put down next Sunday. <laughs> Well, they'll look mighty good in a picnic basket, Beulah. Uh, what else do you usually take to eat? Uh, deviled eggs? Well, uh, yeah, sir. Deviled eggs, uh, sandwiches, pickles, olives, a big sausage, and maybe a pie. Bill likes to eat them. Yeah, well, who doesn't? Uh, that uh, isn't all, though. Well, um, we don't take our own ants, if that's what you mean. They're already weak. <laughs> No, no, not ants, Beulah. The only thing you're missing, and you should never pack a picnic basket without it, is a few rolls of tums. That famous quick relief for acid indigestion. Oh, 
Sure, I should have remembered that. Oh, believe me, when you're out in the country having fun and you got a sudden stomach upset, a touch of heartburn, well, it's no picnic. That's why no picnic basket is complete without a few rolls of tongue. Because at the first sign of trouble, you simply pop a tum or two in your mouth, and bingo, out goes the discomfort, and in no time at all, you're feeling easy and comfortable again. Ain't that interesting? <laughs> and relief is so fast and so easy, you don't have to worry about mixing or stirring tums. You simply eat them like a good after-dinner mint. And as quick as a flash, the acid discomfort is gone, and everybody's happy again. Oh, you sure must eat a lot of them, Mr. Niles. You're just happy all the time. You really are. <laughs> well, don't forget when you pack that picnic basket, Bill. The smart people always play safe. So always keep a roll of tums handy. Remember, night and day, at home or away, always carry tums. T-U-M-S. Tums for the tums. Well, I'll see you later. Goodbye, Mr. Niles. Come back sometime, next Monday. <laughs> Ain't he the cheerfulest man? Always happy. Well, you're all set, Bueller. You're in. I sure am, sir. To my elbows and pieces. No, no, I, I mean about the ring. I called the man in the ad, a Mr. Ranger, and he's coming over to see me. It's his wife's ring. Oh, my. That's only just a dollar. Hmm. Lady Luck, I'm still your favorite child. <laughs> Have you got the ring? Well, I said, oh, rule, look out. Don't stall me like that, Mr. Morton. I've got it all right, right? Right here in my apron pocket. Well, just to be sure you... Hello there. Anybody home? Who's there? <laughs> Nobody I know. Where's Miss Aunt Alice? Up there, just not her. Well, hello there, neighbor. Neighbor? <laughs> hey, how'd you get in here? Walk Let's right go. in, neighbor. Front door wasn't locked. I'll take care of that. <laughs> Where? <laughs> oh, 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 you, uh, the... Just moved in next door. <laughs> Always like to get acquainted with my neighbor. <laughs> like to see what I'm up against. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, my name's Hurt, Marlon Hurt. Glad to know you, Hurt. And this, of course, is... Mm, no, it probably isn't. <laughs> Oh, you're probably right. This is our housekeeper, Beulah. This is Mr. Jenkins. I'm due. <laughs> you moved in yesterday, didn't you? I noticed a truck out there. Yes, yes, I know you did. But we're used to that. <laughs> we don't mind. We don't mind people peeping out their upstairs windows. Not at all. Sometimes they lean too far and fall right on their heads. <laughs> Well, I wasn't exactly peeping 